The term emotional support animal has always produced mixed opinions with some landlords claiming that it's a loophole term to get applicants' pets accepted, while others cite the Americans with Disabilities Act. Whether your policy is pet friendly or not, it's important to know the difference between service dogs and emotional support animals. Physical service animals are trained to help a specific individual with a disability. Psychiatric service animals are individually trained to help a person with a mental disability. Both of these service animals are trained to aid someone with a disability, whether it be pulling a wheelchair or responding to the owner's panic attack. Some states, like California, limit service animals to dogs, and in other cases, miniature horses as well. Emotional support animals, on the other hand, can be any type of animal and are not trained to perform a specific act that relates to an individual's disability. These types of animals give their owners emotional relief, rather than physical or psychological relief, and unlike most service dogs, they do not need to wear any form of identification, like a vest or a harness. The Fair Housing Act, or FHA, allows tenants with disabilities to request a reasonable accommodation for any assistance animal, including an emotional support animal. For landlords and property managers, if a renter with a disability requests for reasonable accommodation and provides a letter legitimizing the need for an emotional support animal, under the FHA, you legally must provide reasonable accommodation for their support animal, regardless of your pet policy. If you deny their request, the tenant can file a discrimination complaint with the Department of Housing and Urban Development. Be aware that some city jurisdictions have restrictions on the type of pets allowed, so check with your city ordinance beforehand. For more information on emotional support animals and service dogs and rentals, click the link and read the full article below.